what's up everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm paris and i make videos all about candle making and the starting and managing of my small candle business lady simone candle co you can probably tell by the title of this video what we're going to do today i am going to show you how to color your candles three different ways so let's just get started Let's just go ahead and dive right in. I kind of have my talking points off to the side here so I don't miss any key points about each method. I've purchased all of the candle dye from the Flaming Candle. Um, and so all three of these methods can be used not only for making candles, but also for making wax melts as well. So the first method is dye blocks. This is the package it came in. It's from the Flaming Candle. I chose the color red. And this is what it looks like here. Out the package when it comes to using the the dye blocks it is very cost effective in that um, one dye block can um, dye five to even up to 20 pounds of wax so depending on how you batch work your candles and wax melts um, one dye block can take you quite far um, if you are making smaller batches and you're not using a full dye block you can simply use shavings off the dye block to achieve your desired color. You can use it in both paraffin and soy waxes. And you can also use shavings to um, then mix with other colors of the dye blocks as well. So if you want to try to make a unique color or blend um, a dye block color with a different dye block color, you can use shavings of both to achieve um, one color or a customized color for your candle line. Next, we have uh, the liquid dye method. So you will receive a dropper and then your liquid dye. I chose Hunter Green for that. When it comes to the liquid dye wax, it is cost effective in that one ounce, which is this bottle right here, can color up to 125 pounds of wax which will take you pretty far depending on again how many candles you're making with the one color and how you batch work your candles this uh type method can be used in not only paraffin and soy but it can also be used in gel waxes as well um it's easy to customize with other colors you got the dropper here um so you can document how many drops it takes to either achieve a certain shade of this one color or how many drops it takes to then make a custom color mixed with another color. So it's easy to document and um, it's easy to measure and you can obviously repeat it as you document how you use it. So it's versatile, um, again, cost effective. It's easy to customize and e easy to work with because you have a dropper here. And the last method is actually diamond dye chips. And this is the package it came in. I chose brown and it actually looks like this. So it actually looks like a diamond. I hope I can make that look. I hope you can see. There you go. So it comes in a dye chip like that. Pretty similar to the dye block, um, except for instead of two um, blocks, you get actually 20 dye chips. One chip can color up to one pound of wax. It can be used in both paraffin and soy waxes. And similar to the dye block as well, you can use part of the dye chip shavings of it to achieve a desired color or to customize and mix with other colors. So I have brought you all down here so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So I am just going to take some shavings off. I'm just gonna use some shavings. So I'm just simply taking my little spatula here and just shaving off a little bit and testing to see how this works which is why i love i don't use color in my line but i actually do enjoy playing with color and so i use my little shavings here guys and i'm just going to drop it in and see what we get and i am going to stir Now 
And so one of the ways when I used to play with color a lot, one of the ways to test to see the actual shade is to get a piece of paper, like some printing paper, and then drop some drip, um, drip a few drops on there to see if that's the desired shade that you like. So I'm going to show you how I do that. So as you can see, it's a real light red shade. So I think I wanna shave off a little bit more because I'm trying to go for that Christmassy red. So this is what I like about, one of the reasons why I love candle making because it really allows you not only time to yourself, but it allows you to test and play around with different things, such as dye. I used to play with dye quite a bit. You just wanna stir that until all the little specks are dissolved. And let's see if this is a good color shade here. Sometimes it's hard to tell when it's in the picture. All right, let's see. Yeah, that's good. I like that better. It's a lot darker. Here's the first pour. So next we are going to do the hunter green in the liquid dye. According to the bottle, it is seven drops per pound of wax. So remember we're a little bit under, we're just under half a pound. So I'm just going to test and take a little half of that. So probably three drops. One, two, three. I'm going to stir and see what we get. Ooh, that. So the liquid dye is very potent. <laughs> Just FYI, it is a little, literally a, lit, a little bit goes a long way. I'm going to show you. And it's easier to dissolve with the dye block and I'm sure with the dye chips. Um, you have to stir until it dissolves, the uh, specks dissolve. So here is the Hunter Green. Ooh. So let me flip the camera and show you all. So as you can see, that's the, that's the Hunter Green. A little bit definitely goes a long way. Um, it's a lot more concentrated, a lot more potent. And that is the hunter green now we are going to do our brown dye chips so similar to the dye block I'm just going to shave off a little bit and um, see what color we get pretty brown so I use just under half a dye chip to achieve that color that is the brown there you have it that is how you dye candles or you can dye wax melts as well three different ways using dye blocks liquid dye and diamond dye chips I hope not only that you learned something from this video, but you also enjoyed it. I want to say happy holidays to you and your families. Hug on them. Love on them. Life is too short. And I think this year has taught us that. <laughs> so I hope you all enjoy your holiday season. Eat good. Enjoy it. <laughs> and I will catch you all in the new year. I love you all and thank you all for supporting not only my business, but my channel and being a great community for me to not only learn from, but to help you all. It's about to be a new year, guys. I know many of you are about to start your small businesses and I am so excited. 
um, that you're taking that journey and I'm excited to join the journey with you and help you with whatever questions and things you have. I have some great content and um, things coming out next year for you all. So I cannot, I cannot wait. I'm telling y'all, I'm so excited. You could probably tell just from me rambling on and talking. I'm just super excited for what next year is gonna bring for all of us. So I love you all. Big virtual hug from me. And until next time, bye. Here, come here. Say hi. Hi. Trying to test the camera angle. Oh, just <laughs> There you have it. That is how you dye your candles three different ways using dye blocks, liquid dye, and diamond dye chips. I hope not only have you learned something from this video, but you also enjoyed it. I want to say happy holidays to all of Every time I'm recording, <laughs> there go the ambulance. Something comes through my video every time I'm trying to end it. <laughs> Let's try this again.